So there's a non-believer wow. writing this, and he, it was first performed in 1857. And now it's one of the most well-known Christmas carols reflecting on Jesus' birth and the redemption of humanity. Oh, holy night. <laughs> We have a tree behind us because it's the Christmas season. Christmas! Um, we are doing now Miracle on 34th Street. Yeah. And I, for seeing changes, added some old hymns and things like that of our cast members who are super talented mm. to sing. Well, I the reason I picked Oh Holy Night is because, first of all, Elise's voice is perfect yeah. for this song. But the message makes it one of my favorite. I just love it. I don't know if you guys knew that the O Holy Night was actually written by a poet and the music was composed in 1855 when it was when the song was translated from French to English. And what happened was in 1843 near the end of it a church organ in southern France was renovated and so they asked how do you say that in French? Oh Idea. He showed no interest in religion, and he was asked by the priest to write a poem, and he did. So there's a non-believer wow. writing this, and he, it was first performed in 1857. And now it's one of the most well-known Christmas carols reflecting on Jesus' birth and the redemption of humanity. From somebody. The nuts. I know. Crazy. God didn't use anyone. I know, right? So wow. let's just be there. I'd like to just kind of read the lyrics to you. A lot of times, even when we're in like our worship service um, in church, how often do we actually think about what we're singing? Like we sing it because we know it, yep. but like thinking about like, oh, that's what that means. Oh, these, these are words. Yeah, these yeah. are powerful. So, oh holy night, the stars are brightly shining. And that comes from Luke 2, 8. from Genesis 3, 17 and 18. The thrill of hope, the weary world rejoices, for yonder breaks a new and glorious morn. It comes from Romans 8, mm -hmm. verses 19 through 21. from Philippians 2, 10 and 11. You don't hear that one. Sweet hymns of joy in grateful chorus raise we. Let all within us praise his holy name. Christ is the Lord, oh praise his name forever. His power and glory evermore proclaim. His power and glory evermore proclaim. That is Colossians 3.16. I love oh. the second verse that oh. you just read. That truly he taught us to love one another. Mm. His law is love. And his gospel is peace. And then I also love, chains shall he break, for the slave is our brother. Which if people only listened to the songs and to the gospel, the world Amen. would be a better place. When you hear O Holy Night for the rest of this Christmas season, take a moment to really listen to the words. Thank you so much for joining us this past year on all of our funness, funness, education. Critiquing, yeah, it's, laughs, it's tears, it's been a good year. It has been.
Thanks for coming on our ride. And really, honestly, if you feel like that there's somebody who would benefit from being able to hear what we say about speech and God and his gift of entertainment, we would love it if you would share what we do here from the wings with another generation of people. Until next year, this is just me and me talking to you from, from the, the wings. wings.